This is just a video on why HHO is impossible. The basic HHO cycle that you see to promote this crap is that water is taken, run through an electrolyzer which splits into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen goes off. In the case of this simplified vehicle system to run an engine, the oxygen is vented to the atmosphere. The engine combines uh, hydrogen from the air, or hydrogen from the system with oxygen from the air, burns it, and uh, turns the um, chemical energy of the of the hydrogen oxygen combustion into mechanical energy, most of which goes to the vehicle powertrain, some of which runs a generator, which is used to run the electrolyzer to split more uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen. And if you know anything about anything about physics, you know that this is impossible because, first off, it takes more energy to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen in the electrolyzer than can be recovered uh, by com by burning it or running it through a fuel cell, which is, of course, not very efficient. Um, like 50%, 60% is typical. Likewise, with an electrolyzer, in the case of a combustion engine, it's typically 30% is actually converted into mechanical energy, and, of course, you've got losses in the generator. And so it requires something where you've got a 350% efficient engine, like a... 130%, 140% efficient generator, a good 200% efficient electrolyzer, and that's just to keep the thing running if you've got energy being drawn off to some external source. Just, it doesn't bloody work. It can't bloody work. This is why. But then again, what do I know? I'm just an engineer who knows physics.